strong for Liverpool from Ole Sarah. What does that mean to the club? What does it mean to all of his teammates in the dressing room? Uh, look, he's you know someone who is the amount of of things that people have said. I'm sure I'll just be echoing it, but um, you know the fans, the people who, who watch the game. Um, of course, he gets his, his flowers and he gets his um, respect, but it's you know probably the, the people who see him on a day to day who see the work that goes into it um, the way he applies himself to the game the respect he's got for the game um, is you know the 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 true testament to, to what he's achieved it's you know the goals and the assists and the numbers that he does will, will always speak for themselves but when I'm you know Hopefully, old enough and lucky enough to have kids and grandkids. It's not his goals and assists that I'll talk about. It'll be the way he applied himself and the, you know, the inspiration he was to the players around him and the role model and the leader he was. Um, the most professional player I've, I've, I've been, you know, privileged enough to share the the, the pitch with. Um, the hardest work and the most dedicated to his craft, um, and. You know, it, this hasn't just happened overnight for him. He's worked extremely hard, and you know he reaps the rewards for it. Um, but you know, he's someone who will, you know, go down in the history of the of the of the club, of the league, and um, probably football for for what he's gone on to achieve. And he's you know he's someone who I'm sure will will have that legend status within the game. Next up, Manchester United. What's your first memory of Liverpool, Manchester United, growing up? Bruce United winning, <laughs> winning everything. To be honest, is is you know probably the, the big picture. But within that was the away to Nine fixture away Old Trafford. Um, great kit, four one. You know, Gerard kissing the camera. But just you know, for Liverpool fans, it was a huge result. One that was was unexpected, obviously. Um, but you know, will will remain in the memory of. Of, of all the Liverpool fans that we watched that. Was last year as good as it gets? For a Liverpool fan? Yeah, you can't. I mean, I prefer the 5-0 away than the season before, but I understand why, you know, the 7-0s <laughs> are yeah, just something that you'll always remember. But I think as a, as a team and as, as for us, in, the, in the, the way and the times that we scored, I think, um, in, in the 7-0, we scored six in the second half, so it's kind of, you put the game to bed after the fourth, for sure, and then it's just how many can you get from that point, but to go to, to Old Trafford, score four in the first mm -hmm. half and walk in 4-0 up, um, kind of like, what's, what's going on here? It's unheard of. Um, Especially for a Liverpool team to go and do that, do the, the, the tightest games of the season, uh, the most tense, the bitterest ri rivalry. Um, so to do that away and put the game to bed before before half time was was one that was where miles ahead of these right now. What, so seven nil, and then four nil here the year before. Do you feel like you're miles ahead? Is this the biggest gap between the two? Certainly in the time you've been playing. Last season we get beat away and then we, we win massively at home. So it, it, the, it, both of us got three points. Doesn't matter what the scoreline this season. I'm sure will be will be tight again. Who knows what the scoreline will be? But we know it's going to be a massive battle um, on the weekend, and we know how much it would mean to them and for their season. You know, what better way to to kickstart your season and you know get that belief again and then going to Anfield and getting getting a result. So we understand what their mentality is, as ours would be going going to their place. You, you get a result there and it sets the tone for yourselves and you have that belief. So we need to match that and we need to, to, to execute our game plan. I'm sure we'll be able to do that, but no, it's not going to be a, a, an easy walk in the park just because you know they've had a couple of bad results. Um, you know, it's the, the game is still the game. Are you playing as well as you've ever played and, and how do you feel when you when you look at your position? Are you happier when you're asked to push forward a bit more now or are you happier as a fullback? I think I, I enjoy playing centrally. It's a, a challenge and it's a you know, it, it's difficult and it's different from what I've what I've been doing 
over the years. Um, I enjoy that. There's that responsibility of of controlling the game, of, of dictating the, the pace and the speed, and creating and, and dominating the, the middle of the pitch and dealing with with what the opposition can throw at you, being man marked, and how you can still get on the ball and, and influence the game. These are all challenges that I'm, that I'm enjoying um, and learning Physically, on the job. Have you put on a bit of muscle over the last twelve months? So you, you look as if you've been in the gym. Is, is that helping you? I would say so. I would say. No, now it's, you know, it's, you know, I feel and act and, and, and I, I am a man now, it's, a, it's what, I, what I, I enjoy it. Um, yeah, I've, I've grown in, in, in size and, you know, still, yeah, and, you know, being able to, to use that to, to the advantage, hold people off, get on the ball, get people off the ball, which is all part of the game um, and trying to, and influence it that way um, and finding that balance of being able to, to have that strength but also that, that the agility and be able to be to be fast and get and get half a yard on your opponent which is you know it's a fine balance but you need to be able to do that. And you're vice captain now as well so a leadership kind of take it's coming into the game as well. Of course yeah it's something I've that I massively massively enjoy. I, I love responsibility always have and to be you know part of the leadership group and to and to be vice captain of the club is something that I'm truly honoured, and I've I've worked, you know, very hard for over the years, and and dedicating myself to to going and achieving these things. But you know, you know, there's a responsibility on me now, not just on the pitch, but off the pitch to, you know. Set the standards and 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 show the lads, you know, where we need to be as as a club and as a team, to uh, to maintain the the direction of of travel that we want to go in.